Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh When is it disliked uh, and better not to listen to someone reciting the Quran? Uh, it has been narrated by some of the Salaf, Salaf al-Salih That one of them, and as you know the Salaf al-Salih were called Ahlul Hadith Which are the true Ahl al-Sunnah wal jamaah And they are called today as Salafiyun, the Salafis It's been reported that one of, of the Salaf was sitting uh, with an Ash'ari uh, or of one of the Ahlul Bid'ah and this Ahlul Bid'ah he said let me read upon you the Quran so the Salafi said not even a single verse he says but I'm reading to you the Quran he said do not read upon me the Quran he's told him why I'm reading upon you the word of Allah he said it's because if you read the Quran upon me I will remember the way you took the verses in context, in your own context. And thus I might fall into trial and fitna, right? Because the Ash'aris, they have their own context of the Quran, which is wrong. For example, they say Al-Istiwa is Al-Istila, right? Uh, they have, for example, that Allah is not above uh, the throne, not above every all the people, right? They say that Allah is fi kulli makan, He is everywhere, which is kufr wa liyadu billah. So this is the way when it's, uh, when, I'm, when Ahlul Bid'ah read the Quran, a Muslim should not listen to their recitation and should either leave and listen to the recitation of his own people, the ones who believe the same he believes, or read the Quran for himself, right? This is because if a person is taking the verses out of context, for example, some people take verses, there are clear verses, there are, there are opinions between verses, right? But there are some verses that it must be taken, there is consensus. There is a consensus upon the Jumhur that it is understood this way. And whoever does not understand this way, he becomes a Kafir, right? As you can see, there's many Zanadiq out there, like Mufti Abu Layth. He says that Nuh is not this much years old. Not the way the Quran is saying, which is Kufr, right? He says that the throne of Allah is not literal. This is Kufr, right? Anything like this, this is Kufr. These are acts of Kufr. People who say that Allah is not above the throne and they say that Al-Istiwa is Al-Istila and they read upon you the Quran, the shaitan will come to you and say, look, look, and then you will start remembering how this person said about this verse, how he understood it, which can be a fitna for you. So this is why a person should not sit down with these people because they take the Quran out of context. Just like, for example, a Shia'i reading the Quran, he has his own context of the Quran, which is kufr. It's not understood the same way as the Sahaba, it's not understood the same way as the Tabi'oon, Tabi'i Tabi'een, and not as understood the way the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu conveyed it, right? So, in this case, a person should not listen to them or sit with them. He should leave. So this is when it is disliked to sit down with the people of Bid'ah when they read the Quran, because sometimes you would remember how the way they did tafsir to it. And you might, shaitan might do talbis on you, might keep you thinking and thinking and thinking and then you might agree with this person. You might say, oh, maybe he's right. Uh, so this is why it is not, I wouldn't say not permissible, I would say it is disliked and a person should not lean into it, right? Should stay away from it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.